Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today is actually going to be a continuation of what we did yesterday. Yesterday we did meditation, today we're going to do some yoga. Now again, just like you guys were for yesterday, probably some of you with yoga, or excuse me, with meditation, yoga again has been done for thousands of years uh, and it's about one core idea that most people don't get and that is learning how to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable. So some of these moves for some of you are going to be uncomfortable. And the other part of it is just like with the, uh, the meditation that we did before, you're going to be staying in them anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds. Some of them are movements that move from one to the other and some are a combination. So what we're going to be doing is just like everything else, five movements, but some are going to be all uh, combinations of a few movements putting together as one. And the other ones are just going to be movements that you get into and you hold. All right, so let's go through these five. I'll break them down as we do them. As mentioned in the previous workout videos, please make sure you do some type of warm up uh, to get your body ready to go. This first move we're gonna do is actually a series of moves into one, and it is a little bit of a warm up that most yoga actually goes through. It's called the sun salutation. I'm gonna show you how you do it. So you're gonna stand up with your feet together. You're gonna put your hands to your side, take a nice deep breath in. Hands up, exhale on the way down. Keep your legs straight, back straight. Try to touch your feet. Even if you can't do it, that's okay. Then you're going to walk your hands out. Keep your feet on the ground. Push up, look up. Get as much as your upper body off the ground as you can. This is upward dog. And then you're going to go up in the air. Hips and butt up. This is downward dog. Then you're going to reverse everything you just did. Feet together, take a deep breath in, hands up overhead, deep breath out, hands down by your side, okay? And you're gonna repeat that. Deep breath in, hands up over, down, reach down, walk forward, go up, deep breath in, then exhale out, downward dog, reverse that, feet together, inhale up, and exhale, arms down. That's the first move, sun salutations. The next move we're gonna be doing is called the crescent pose, and this actually flows from this move into a few other ones that we're gonna do. So let me show you how it looks. So on this one, you're gonna pick one leg, doesn't matter right or left, it's gonna be forward, toes facing forward. Your back foot is gonna have your toes facing outward, okay? So with this, you're gonna keep a bend in your front leg, all right? And you're gonna take both hands, exhale up, Turn your hip of the leg that's back, point it forward, inhale up, hands over your head. And again, if you can get further into that lunge, get further into the lunge, take a couple breaths. You should be here for about 10 to 15 seconds, okay? And then you're going to switch what you just did. Switch your feet. Again, get that hip that's back behind you. Turn forward, inhale up, hands get as deep into that lunge as you can. Keep your back foot on the ground. And again, inhale, exhale for 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go into the next move. So this next move we're gonna do is called half moon. This actually flows from the crescent pose into it. So if we were back in crescent pose, toe, uh, toe pointed straight back into that lunge, all you're gonna do is lean forward up and one arm up, one arm down. Now, as you can see, I'm leaning on this bench that actually helps me support my weight. And I'm trying to open up my hips and my shoulders as much as possible. Again, 10 to 15 seconds here. Once you are done, inhale, exhale out, back into that crescent. And then you're gonna switch. So all you can do is just switch sides from that crescent. Again, lean up, try to touch. If you can, try to touch the ground. Again, open your hip and shoulder up as much as possible. Try to keep this leg straight. If you can't keep your balance, you can put it down, that's okay. Inhale, 10 to 15 seconds. We're gonna move on to the next move. This next move is, for some of you, will be a balance move of actually trying to practice your balance, uh, but more is actually a little bit of a muscular endurance move. So, if you come out of that last half moon, you're gonna take your legs, put them together, arms straight up, and you're gonna sit back. This is called chair. Now, from the side, it looks like this. So my hips are back, my back is straight, and my arms are going along my ears okay and again 10 to 15 seconds a few breaths when you're ready to come out take a deep breath and just arms down 
stand straight up. All right, let's hit our last move. This last move is probably gonna be the favorite of most of you guys. One is because you don't have to really do much, uh, but two, it actually also helps you to take a nice deep breath in, expand your lungs, and really relax. So what you're gonna be doing is, you're gonna sit on your feet, so toes go to the ground, okay? You're gonna sit on your feet, take both arms up, deep breath in, and you're gonna extend forward, hand between your, ha your arms, and taking deep breaths in this position. If you're really, really flexible and you can get further back, you can even put your face on the ground and get your hands behind you. I'm not that flexible, so I can't get my face to the ground, all right? So, uh, again, you can move through these, go through it once, and if you're still feeling great, you can go through it again. Remember, you're always breathing in as you start the move and out as you move through the move, okay? Uh, also, just like with meditation, you guys can put some music to this that's soothing, uh, whether you like classical music or just relaxation piano or whatever it is. That will help you go through this a little bit better. And if you do a couple times, by the third time you get through it, you get pretty good at it. So, hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourselves. See you soon.